What's up, everyone? This is Kay Farrow. Um, I'm a DJ, usually from New York, but I'm out here in Germany right now. Uh, just wanted to put together a quick video to show everybody the capability the Surface Pro 3 has running Tractor, the latest version of Tractor, with a MIDI controller. Now, this is just an update to the video that you see here on YouTube. Big respect to Jose Chedez who put together a video over a year ago running his Windows Surface Pro with Tractor Pro 2 and Machine Micro. Well, I'm not running Machine Micro. What I'm running here is a VCI, a Vestax VCI 400, which I got from the good fellas at DJ Tech Tools. What's up? Uh, running straight through the latest updated version of Windows Surface Pro 3. So what we're going to do right now is first uh, see if I can run you through the specs. As you can see, i got Windows 10 Pro up on here, right? I've got the, the i5 running 1.90 gigahertz, 64-bit, uh, and this is the 128-bit or 128 gig hard drive version. Uh, decided to get this version because I know for some reason the i7s run hot. I didn't want to have that problem and possibly have to have it throttle back or do something on the back end. So I decided to just go ahead and get, go ahead and get this, which was closer to the price point that I was you know, expecting and willing to pay for. So without further ado, first thing I'm going to do is get out of that window. And like most Windows laptop users that run... Uh, the run tractor I'm gonna just go ahead and put this in airplane mode just so I can knock out the Wi-Fi now as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and close out a Chrome and there you have it it's tractor there's a little bit of back and forth in order to get the display to be right but it can be done so if you got any questions on that if you really want to get to this version or to get this screen size and you're having problems just respond to the video below and I'll hook you up. So, as you can see, mentioning the screen, if I zoom in a bit, you can see there, I've got enough of the screen that I usually DJ with, uh, with my MIDI controller. I really don't need anything more than this because everything is controlled here. So all the other settings, the global settings and stuff like that, I'm not really interested in. But just so you can figure out the capabilities, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and play some. As you can see, it runs fine. It runs fine, no problem. Um, I can do whatever I want as far as mixing goes. And the latency, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, is like minimal at best. I've got no problems with latency whatsoever. I'm go ahead and go back out. And I can control everything I want straight from here. Not a problem. It's responsive enough for me to go to through the Explorer menus, fast and easy, you know, queuing up the next track is all good, so let me just do a quick mix in.
so yeah, that's it. Of course, yes, sloppy mix. Okay, yeah, great. This wasn't meant to be the professional thing. I am in my living room, but I just wanted to show y'all all the functionality that the Pro 3 still gives you. Take that apart. Still work. Hold it flat. Move it around. Put it wherever I want. Of course, as long as the USB doesn't come out and I still got power in it. So, again, this is a Surface Pro 3, right? Running tractor. So, if you got one and you're interested in figuring out whether or not it works, it does work. Flawlessly, I must admit, I haven't had any problems, but if I do have any problems with it, you guys will be the first to know, and I'll post it here. So again, any questions you got, concerns, stuff like that, just, you know, put something at the bottom of this YouTube video, and I'll hit you back. All right, latest.